on the last video. How dare you calling your Nautico John in that intimate way? What? <laughs> First, let's just look at this real quick. Yosuke's mouth and use pointy finger. And Nanako chan in that intimate way. And so we continue. Hey there, guys. LOI Games. I'm back with some more Persona 4 Arena. Where we last left off, we had a weird conversation with Yuna Arakami, and now we continue onward. I wish you good luck. Thank you, Margaret. Fighting Teddy. Let's go. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you very much. Now let's continue onward. Teddy, Miss President, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? That's what I thought. I can't bear the look she's giving me. Not confused, but not judging. So I, so I can, so I turn away. Did I really want to beat up my friend? I don't want to believe it. First, I need to talk to Teddy here, what his real intentions are. What I, whatever I may have secretly wanted, that's no reason to push an innocent girl into the TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? Bite my lip and wake up, Teddy. Ow! That was so mean, Yosuke! He's back. Sorry, Teddy. Let's go back. This Grand Prix's over. Huh? It's over? It ended while everyone was making fun of me? Making fun of you? What? You were the host. You had on these weird clothes. Yeah, you look like a general. That wasn't the real me! Yosuke, even you thought that was me? It looked just like you, sounded like you, and acted like you, Teddy. What'd you expect? <laughs> we sleep in the same futon every night, yet you couldn't tell a beast like that apart from me. Whoa. We don't sleep in the same futon. Wait, does that mean it's someone else doing this? I wasn't too sure of him either when I first came across him. I mean, what are the odds there'd be two of someone that crazy looking? What are the odds, truly? I keep telling you! Can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk! Check out the fur! What fur? Uh... I don't want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Wait, back up, huh? Huh? The teddy on the monitor is a fake? I calm Teddy down and get him to explain things to me. It seems that the general is some copy of Teddy, and the TV world was like this when Teddy got here. What. The. Hell. There's no enemy. My, there's no enemy in my ass! Oh yes there is. Anyway, the reason he's with the president isn't because he'd capture her, it's because she thought he was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up with him, Teddy had begun thinking of her himself as her knight in shining armor, so he was going with her to the announcement room. Way to confuse me, Teddy. I've been doing my best to get myself unframed. 
You did horribly. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. So Kanji's out of the bracket? Phew. Yosuke. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for you? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that, um... I try to figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling, like a ringing in my ears, knocks the thoughts away. I mean, not in my ears, it's in my head, but it's not a sound. It's a weak, it's weak at first, but I know it's getting stronger. It's... Risky senpai is Teddy with you too? Oh, hey, it's Rise. Are you the right Rise? Rise. I can hear Rise, but not over the school's PA system. For her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. And maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently, or is about to start soon. I'm so glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other too. Oh, oh, I'm here too. And so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. I do sense one more presence there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Yeah, we'll have to later. Hey, Reese, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not. I'm not that big of a ditz. I'm in the announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left, so I'm using this chance to contact you guys. Hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing? Not while you're all being forced to fight. She sound she sounds all indigenous now, but considering how weak she sounded at the beginning, I know she's just forcing herself to act angry. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. Unlike us, she doesn't know if there are even if there was ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. I awkwardly recap what I know for her. This Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? Huh? What? What? What the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. But if it's doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. If Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then that makes all the stuff he said before in the fight a lie. But, lie or not, it did make sense. I mean, even Teddy isn't the bad guy here. This Grand Prix is being held by my for my benefit. I mean, that's pretty much settled. God, your self-esteem is so damn low, Yosuke. What is wrong with you? God, Jesus. Talk about depression. I think I have a good idea of who the poor sucker is. Do you think maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a second. I'll search I'll for him. him. Risei's transmission stops for a second. If my guess is right, there's a big chance he's already gone. Come on. Let, come on. Let not be there. Let it not be there anymore. Risei comes back online. Disappeared? Wow, the size of this one. I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't. Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. Well, try. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. We'll cut. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. If the enemy's still around, it's not a good idea if he finds out that Rise can use her persona to contact us. I make sure Rise is actually disconnected before I turn to Teddy. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her! Teddy, I will hurt you. He's such a spaz. Tell me about it. This is not a time to be fawning over cute girls. 
even one as hot as Miss President. There's a bad guy out there trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe he can... Maybe he can be so easygoing about this because he truly believes that nothing could drive a wedge between us. Ugh, whatever. Whether that's true or not, he did take down Kanji. I can trust him to look after the president. Anyway, now that Rise check now that Rise is checked, there's one thing I'm certain of. The true identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who would bo who would bother setting up this Grand Prix just for me. Didn't you already face your shadow, Yosuke? You use a persona for a reason. I don't know why he's coming. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something. I was hoping that he would just disappear once I figured out what was happening, but I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, the thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow, but this is even worse. I mean, this is completely my fault. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to pay my shadow another visit. But just as I make my make up my mind and try to leave the classroom, Miss President blocks my path. Wait, what's going on? I demand an explanation. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's no time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you, as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called a persona. And this is no normal tournament. Duh. I'll be fine. I'm funny strong, you know. Yeah, plenty strong, but... But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school, either. Can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. Huh? That's not your problem, miss. I'm, I'm all ready to give her a verbal smackdown, but the look on her face is so serious that I have to pause. She eventually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way. As student council president, I gotta have a talk with her about this. Does she mean the PA we heard when I first met her? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for the people around I'm you. Let me get to you. It's just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Yeah, that too. Wait, huh? This Grand Prix is all for me, and she just got caught up in it. What's the point of belittling her like that? Of course it bothers me. I like this school. She whimpers slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl I met before. Ugh, fine, I guess I it can't be helped. I am to blame for all of this happening to her, but I can't just admit like that. So I smile jokingly and hold out my hand. How about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Yosuke kun. All right, you're on. Hey, no fair. I wanted her. Whoa. Even if she only is going along with the joke, I asked her out, and she said yes. Awesome, Yosuke. You are an embarrassment. Wait. What about me? I want to go on a date too. You can't leave me out. Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. No! A date slipped through my claws. <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. <laughs> That's like a... <laughs> Aw, thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? All right, let's go. Miss President and I leave the classroom together. Teddy desperately tries to follow, but an invisible wall stops him cold. He keeps charging. <laughs> he keeps charging at the wall, but every time he does, he just bounces off like a tennis ball, being tossed against a glass window. That sounds like a Teddy thing to do. 
When he finally gives up, he waves his stubby little arm in despair. In despair, yeah. Yosuke, you better not lose! You gotta protect Miss President! And don't try anything funny with her! You were going to! Shut up! I'm not you, exactly! That teddy. Oh, that's just how he That's just how he is. Man, I kind of want to smack him, but I'm smiling all the... Uh, all the same. The invisible walls block the way, as usual. I'm starting to feel really anxious. I can't let it show. I know that it would make Miss President here worry. We're making progress, slowly, but surely. I have to keep trusting that we'll get there. I really like this school. That was unexpected. Well, I'm not surprised, since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh, yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. She clams up, so I try to get her to open up a little more. But what she says next takes me by surprise. My name? I, I don't know. Huh? I can't remember it at all. Huh. That's weird. I've been trying all this time, but I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too, until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? Well, now that I think about it, the victims who were dropped into this world had scrambled memories and with bits and chunks missing. So it's definitely possible that she can't remember her name. Oh, you mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? She seems really upset about this. I bet that's only putting more pressure on her. She's seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would help her calm down a little. I decide to answer every question she has, one at a time. Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, an ugly part of themselves. And most people hate to admit it exists. Good job, you're doing good. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona. A power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. You did a pretty good explanation, Yosuke. I'll give you a gold star. I went through that once. But it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. I sure hope that's all I have to do. Of course, I can't say that part out loud. I talked like I was confident, but in reality, I was really nervous. How can I be smiling when I'm so worried? It's crazy, right? I look at her, try to gauge how she feel, how she's it feeling. Sounds rough. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry. I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. Let's just hope. Oh, great. Now I've got her all nervous, too. Trying to cheer her up, I try to play the, uh, up the good parts. You remember that you're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? Hm? You've been a real big help, Yosuke-kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. You sure have. She finally smiles. It's only a little one, but it's there. Huh? Is this really the first time I've seen her smile? Ah, oh, damn. She is really cute. I start getting embarrassed about having fate asking her out on a date, and my feet speed up. Crap, I'm literally running away from her. Talk about chicken-hearted. I think I'll end it here, guys. Anyway, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe and part of the archives. And I'll see you all.